For the new issue of Mother Jones, art director Carolyn Perot, designer Tim Letty, editors Monica Berlin and Clara Jeffrey, I was delighted to be asked to illustrate a package featuring a piece by the great Kevin Drum about the GOP, the party of crazy. How best to describe a political party taken over by right-wing zealots bent on self-destruction? As Senator Lindsey Graham says, we're not generating enough angry white guys. So how about an elephant eating itself? How would that look? Well, even after a major defeat, the Republicans seem to be having a hard time not pissing off Americans who aren't millionaires or lovers of Fox News. So what kinds of things have they been telling themselves about Barack Obama? Well, he's a secret Muslim, speaks Arabic, would bring 100 million Muslims to Islamify America. Obama's wedding ring has Quranic verse engraved on it. Uh, did you know that he's the lizard overlord? This apparently is in the Bible. Two reporters from the Daily Caller wrote a book called The Lizard King, the shocking account of Obama's intergalactic ambitions. This makes sense. Uh, he's also seeking dictatorial powers, coming for your guns, your gold, setting up FEMA concentration camps, establishing slave labor, will take away your food, caused Hurricane Sandy, uh, using the Pentagon, of course. And we know his middle name is Hussein. Obama, you know, is in the pocket of the Muslim Brotherhood. Mm-hmm once aided the Mujahideen in Afghanistan running weapons. He also killed his grandmother so that he could steal and hide his true birth certificate. Uh, here it is. You can see that uh, issued from Kenya, of course. This is a little known fact. In addition, he's planning a radical overthrow of the United States. His parents were communists. He's a devotee of Bill Ayers, who's also his ghostwriter. He was a Black Panther, and also he's the son of Malcolm X. Back to that little guy again. To paraphrase the Greek proverb, those whom the gods would destroy, they first make go completely stark staring nuts.